I'll talk soon. Just let me let me gather my thoughts for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there is no medicine like that at all. <laughs> June 20th was June 20th, 2021 was the anniversary. My cat passed away and I was really hoping that I would get a good 2004 Atlanta like uh feel good story. And oh my God, I, I don't, I honestly have the most uh, mellow uh, felicity that I could ever, uh, tell you guys kyle larson three race wins in a row absolutely proud of the hendrick team and how they have been tirelessly putting all their effort into making all these four youngsters be at the absolute top of their game and holy mother of hades has kyle larson been on fire this year he's already tied kyle bush's hendrick victories at four in a matter of one season in the five car before he even get, got to his 25th start in the five car. That's a big milestone because Kyle Busch's Hendrick wins were very few and far between. And now here's Kyle Larson pretty much uh, dominating up a storm. God is part of the metal storm. I just, uh, it's been really emotional because it doesn't bring back my, Beloved pets, Titan and Gary, but this sure is the best remedy. I was putting my hand on backwards for them and uh, Ricky Hendrick uh, all, pretty much all year long for the guys because, uh, well, it is just a bittersweet moment. I hated June 20th for a long ass time because that was when I discovered my cat's carcass, but now. It's more or less a bittersweet day now because Kyle Larson winning sure does help. I I really cannot find the words to really put in the right sequence to tell, to really explain to you guys how insanely felicitous I am. I'm just worn out. I can't think. Everything from absolute lousy infrastructure at, New at Nashville charging us for parking and cash only which is ridiculous which only but they only lifted the cash free they only made parking free when the traffic got serious and less fans were making it on time for the damn green flag and just which was beyond absurd because this is the first time in my entire life i think i didn't make it to the start of the race Luckily, I made it before stage one ended, but nevertheless, this couldn't have turned out any way, any better than I wish, albeit the whole disqualification for Chase Elliott, uh, having five loose lug nuts on his car is ridiculous. Like, why disqualify his entire performance when that, when that problem he was having on his four wheels only lasted for a few laps. Why let that invalidate his entire race? That makes no fucking sense. I think people should just only get disqualified if illegal modifications benefit the driver. This was not benefiting Chase in any capacity. I'm still waiting on the idiots to still parrot and abuse the golden boy mantra. Fuck yourselves with a rusty knife. How exactly could he be a golden boy if NASCAR disqualifies his whole entire performance over something that wasn't even benefiting him?
It wasn't hindering his integrity. It was just lousy pit stop. It was just pit crew stupidity. And NASCAR has to add patrol to the infernal by creating more stupidity out of his shit. Do they just want to avoid, uh, since people were so up in arms for rescinding the two penalties that Chase could have gotten or originally got in the playoffs, they were afraid that they were going to call, they were going to have an angry mob outside of their fucking apartment when they uh, rescinded this sort of penalty that should have only docked Chase Elliott a few points. Fuck off into oblivion. But hey, all of that aside, this was a great race. Uh, I know a lot of idiots will will uh, pretty much, as always, use their bias and say and only hate this race if because Kyle Larson's showing the best talent on the field. Even though there were plenty of three wide battles, three wide pack racing. Um, a lot of people making ballsy moves that actually work. Pass for position. I mean, sure. Kyle Larson may have scorched the field until it was all ash, but this package at least works. And you, at least that you could fucking pass. <sighs> Nevertheless, um... I just can't really convey how really happy I am for Kyle Larson. This is my favorite Kyle Larson win yet. And also, this is the first uh, win for the Valvoline sponsor since 2002 Rockingham by Johnny Benson Jr. Just a little fun fact of the day. I've been really wanting to cry all month long for my... Uh, pet that I pets that I've lost one year ago but now I I could weep out of extreme bittersweet felicity because Kyle Larson winning is the best remedy I could ever ask for there's no medicine like it I can't exp I really cannot convey enough how happy I am for Kyle Larson and how absolutely proud I am for his efficiency and his performance with Hendrick Motorsports. Hendrick Motorsports has been at the, at the absolute peak of their competition in this new generation. Despite the struggles Chase may have, uh, I still have some hope. Road America, which is also where I'm going to, isn't that far away. It'll get there. And also, since I saw Kyle Larson win in person... That leaves me two out of the four Hendrick drivers I've seen win in person this year. So if I see Chase Elliott win at Road America, it'll be three out of four. William Byron, who knows when he's going to win next or where he's going to win next. It's always a question what kind of racetrack he would gar garner a win since his only he only has uh, two victories at two different tracks, which is a super speedway track that's one, one 2.5 miles and a one and a half intermediate at homestead of all places which is one of his worst tracks so you never know i can dream of the hendrix sweep or grand slam of my race going can i can i we'll have to see but i can't explain my felicity at all it just I'm sorry if i'm a broken record i just uh, it's a beautiful thing. It was an incredible, incredible, incredible experience to have after all that pain and suffering in 2020. 2021 is definitely the year we all needed. Hope you guys have been well. I sure have been more than well, perhaps. I've been having a blast in Tennessee. Hope you guys been having a good 2021. And if you haven't, I wish you the best. Peace out. Keep it metal. And go Hendrick Motorsports. Godspeed, Titan and Gary.